guys, welcome back. So, I'm in a little different of a location than my room. I know. Um, but I'm actually at my kitchen table, which kind of fits for this week's video. Because this week's video, I'm taking you along what I eat in a week. Now, I am not a health person. I am trying to be healthier, but that does not mean that there's only gonna be super healthy foods that I'm gonna eat this week. I promise you, it is not that type of a video. Although, that would be nice if I was healthy, but I'm not. So, obviously, working out, trying to get healthier, a big part of that is your diet. So I am aware of that, and I am trying to be more conscious of what I'm eating, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to restrict myself or like give myself a diet. I have seen what diet culture can do to some people. It can give people eating disorders and it can really just harm and affect people. And so I didn't want to do a super restrictive type of diet situation. I'm more of just being mindful of what I'm eating and trying to put the best stuff in my body. But you know, sometimes some cravings kick in and you know, we, we splurge just a little bit, but not a lot. So, to catch you up, because yesterday I was super busy taking some midterm type tests because it is spring break, so that's perfect. Um, but I had a donut for breakfast while I was taking some tests, which I'll probably pop up. And then for dinner I had some ravioli, and that's all I ate yesterday besides some like chips and a little bit of candy that I had at my aunt's house because it was my cousin's birthday. But besides that, that's all I ate yesterday. Um, but I didn't wake up till like 11, so <laughs> yeah. Um, today it is 10.38 and I'm going to make myself some breakfast, so yeah. I've said before, but this is my go-to breakfast, just kind of bringing you along with it again, and I also couldn't find a spoon, so that's what that was. But yeah. And this is what it looks like. Um, I usually put a little bit more yogurt, but I'm not super hungry today. And then I put less oats because of that, although I just used like the ends of this, so I tried putting some of those so it wasn't just like flakes. But yeah, that's my breakfast. Okay guys, so it's the end of Monday and I'm watching The Walking Dead, having some little chippies, some water, gotta stay hydrated, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Um, earlier I did have four slices, to be exact, of Jack's Pizza um, pepperoni, to also be exact. Um, besides that, I haven't had anything else today, so I'll see you tomorrow. So, um, it's currently 1.47 p.m. and I'm having my first meal of the day. This is Ashley's. This is my meal. That's true. It's a 10-piece, large, ranch, and I have a Sprite. For dinner, I had these white shells. They're super, super yummy, and for breakfast, my usual. Okay, guys, so it's now Wednesday, um, and I think I like had videos for yesterday I don't really know I had my usual yogurt for breakfast today and I was supposed to go to work but they are overstaffed and don't need me tonight so I just work the next two days but I really have no plans for today because I was planning on going to work so yeah um right now I'm playing Call of Duty because my sister just started trying to get me into it so I've been Trying to learn it. I'm not like that bad. It kind of just depends. Some games I'm like pretty good and other games I do pretty bad. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess this is just my little update of what I've been eating. Okay, it's later, so um, I don't have to go to work. I was told we have too many people, so I'm staying home. But I am watching Hunger Games currently, and I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna have some more of my chips. This is what they are. Um, here, hold on. There. Those are the facts for them for you. I've been eating them since I could eat. And yeah. Not much. See you later. So it's almost 8.30 at night and I am just eating now. I have mini bagel and a Nutri-Grain bar. 
I'm starving. Also, um, now I'm on the fourth movie of Hungry and Series, and I made myself some popcorn after eating because I was still hungry. Okay, guys, it's oh. Okay, guys, it's not Thursday. I'm watching um, Kylie Jenner's new video, so if you hear that in the background, but um, I'm also oh, my bad. I'm also eating some ramen noodles because we don't really have food in my house, and I needed something that would like semi fill me up until I could order food at work which I don't usually eat at work till around like 6.30, 7 o'clock, sometimes later, so yeah. Okay, see you later. Okay guys, so I'm kind of like in my car because I'm on break, but I just got some bacon, cheese, chicken, and ranch quesadillas, and a Minute Maid lemonade, and that is my dinner. Okay guys, so it's Thursday night, and um, I just got home it's like 10 30 but i just wanted to talk about something that i've never really talked about um but there's a lot of people that i know personally that suffer with this and i know that i suffer with it um and that's ibs um if you don't know what that is it's irritable bowel syndrome um it's not really talked about because it's kind of like uncomfortable and gross for like all parties involved um but i mean i work in the healthcare field and i literally have to ask people if they've pooped today um so like for me I've gotten a lot more comfortable with talking about it to like people I'm close with or people who also have it um but basically for me mine happens with anything like anything I eat will set it off some foods set it off some days and other days they don't it's really just random and like especially for me like getting closer to my period which is another topic that's not really talked about even though that one's just stupid um when it gets close to my period obviously as a girl our stomachs are already going through it so it's just extra for me but especially during school it was very difficult because teachers won't let you go to the bathroom multiple times and sometimes they don't let you go at all and then there's the other added stresses of school because me personally, when I get stressed out, it only makes it worse. Um, and so like, it's very stressful and I used to literally not eat until I got home and I would stay after school too. So I wouldn't have my first meal of the day until like six, seven o'clock at night, which is extremely unhealthy. And I'm glad that with being in college and like making my own schedule I am able to eat when I eat and especially with online school it's a lot easier um although I would prefer in classroom so that's why I didn't really want to say that but you know um but yeah I just kind of wanted to add that in here because um especially with some of the foods I've been eating this week it I have been having some flare-ups, which since I've been healthier, I haven't had as, like, rarely any, um, but I am supposed to TMI, get my, uh, period soon, so m my stomach's just very sensitive right now, um, but this is, uh, what I eat in a week, and my nutrition and diet reflects my IBS symptoms, and it's something that shouldn't really be avoided and I mean it's a part of my life and how I eat so yeah and um don't leave any hate comments about it because as I said before it's not a gluten thing it's not a dairy thing it could literally be me just having a glass of water and then getting really worked up like it's also not just anxiety. I guess I should clear that one too. But yeah, okay. On to Friday, the last day, because this goes up on Friday. <laughs> okay guys, so it's Friday morning. My hair is a mess. Um, I am going to shower and fix it. So just kind of ignore it. Um, but that has been this week of me eating now um obviously it's not necessarily like crazy or anything um also today just a little catch up I had 
the usual yogurt for my breakfast. I'm gonna get Starbucks with my sister and then I have no clue what I'm getting for dinner. But um, as I think I mentioned in the beginning of this, I have a Snapchat private story that is literally dedicated to talking about what I'm eating and what I'm doing in terms of working out. Um, so if you do wanna be on that, I'll put my, um, or wh whichever little bottom corner it pops up in, I'll put my Snapchat. You just have to add me and then message me and I'll put you in it. Um, but yeah, I don't want this to be too long. We already talked about all the nitty gritty stuff, but I will, um, see you all next week, I guess. So yeah, bye.